guys, back for another video. We're here at Charlie Rose. We're gonna go through some of the gloves they have right now, and uh, I'm gonna try and pick something up. So uh, let's go check them out. All right, here's the newest Wilson drop. It's the ugly sweater glove. It's so cool. This A2000 has the beautiful printed leather with the ugly sweater pattern on it, the beautiful red palm. But yeah, I uh, I saw this glove a while ago on Instagram and I thought, dang, this is definitely a uh, out of the box idea, but it worked. And obviously it sold out very quick and Charlie Rose is very lucky to have one of these. Really unique glove. And I think this would look really cool broken in too. So I might have to pick one up in the future. I really like this. Here's a beautiful set. We got the Country Pride gloves. So beautiful. One of my favorite things is how you can see the flags are inside the Wilson logos. Wilson's starting to go with those bigger logos now with no ring around them, which is gonna give you a lot more customization options as you can see right here with the Fade logo. Really cool. I'm looking forward to that being added to the customizer hopefully soon, but that might be a while, I'm not sure. All right, as you can see in the thumbnail, there's a beautiful, beautiful piece and love glove here. Um, you can see the tie-dye, as you guys know, it's probably one of my favorite looks on a glove. Really, really interested in this. I mean, just look at the back of that, it's so beautiful. But, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the new Clevenger coming out. I'm probably gonna have to wait off on this one just because I want to get the Clevenger, but this one definitely is so beautiful, and if you want it, come through to Charlie Rose. Gosh, and here's one of the best gloves they have right now. It's the TT2, both cold labels, both authentic. It's the Horween one as well. Oh my lord, I want this glove so bad. This will definitely go on the list for right now, but I mean, just look at that Horween leather. It ages so well, and it plays so beautifully on the field, which I'm a really big fan of. Heart of the Hides are just something else, especially when they're Horween. Here's one of the more cool printed gloves right now. We got the Wilson Volition. Absolutely beautiful. We got the camo on here. You can see, so cool. Really cool logo up here too. As you can see, it has the wings and the uh, American flag on the inside. I think that's a really nice addition, but I'm definitely interested in this glove. It's so beautiful. And I like how the uh, print is in between the welting and not the whole back of the glove. I think that really makes it look professional. Check that out. They got a Mike Trout rubber ball glove here. Straight from Japan. So beautiful. Look at that. I wish we made these here in America. These are obviously for rubber balls, so I'm not sure how long this would last on a baseball field, but definitely just something cool to uh, keep up on the wall. As you can see, you got the Fastback with the Rawlings logo on the back. Really unique, beautiful Mike Trout right there. That's so cool. Another beautiful rubber ball glove they have right now is the Nolan Arenado. Absolutely beautiful glove, as you can see. The rubber ball is a little softer leather, so it's not gonna hold up like I said, but I mean, gosh dang, I want one of these so bad. And to add this with the trout, that would definitely look good in my collection, so I'd probably have to think about these. Check out this Wilson staff. It's also Wilson Bear, as you can see. So beautiful, the red is so deep. It's really cool how they had the uh, finger pad kind of extend over, which you only really see those on pitching gloves, but really unique, and obviously the bears in the, in the palm. So cool. All right, got some beautiful college issues here, as you guys have probably seen in the past. Maybe I should pick one up, but I don't know. I have a bunch of college issues right now, maybe too many, so I might have to sell one before I pick up one of these. But as you can see, these gloves are so beautiful, especially the Nike ones right there. That Oregon State Beavers glove is just absolutely ridiculous. I love it. Check out some of those pro shoes too up there. Ken Griffey Jr., Cody Bellinger, another Cody, John Lester, so cool. A lot of big names up there. One of my favorites too is the Derek Jeter, the all white with the basket web. Really cool, we got the pinstripe logo. There are some really cool gloves up in the Raptors here, so make sure when you come here, definitely look up. We've got Joe Musgrove over there too. Padre legend, San Diego legend. But yeah, definitely, definitely look up. All right, check out this super cool EL3 Custom. I've never really seen anything like this. Um, I was just talking to someone who works here and they said this hasn't moved in a while, so I'm a little surprised on that. But yeah, definitely if you guys are interested, shoot uh, San Diego Baseball Gloves or Charlie Rose on Instagram at DM. 
and uh, you could definitely try and land something but I definitely like this I would pick it up but probably not the colors that I would go with just for the teams I support but hey anyone in the Pittsburgh area or something like that this is definitely your glove here's a game ready Wilson staff God, this glove this glove might be the winner it's beautiful as you can see it's game ready break-in is very nice on it I love the triple thumb loops so cool I think it's a very cool look very Japanese look but the Wilson logos on these are just so unique it's like a shield really really nice web 2 is very special so I mean this one this one's looking to be the winner right now All right, check out these absolutely special Kelsey Stewart fast pitch softball gloves. I wish this was uh, more present in the baseball world. These beautiful webs are so cool. All the stars and stripes on this glove really make this glove pop. But the snakeskin's beautiful. As you can see, too, it has their autograph in the pinky, which is very cool. And on the other model, obviously, you can see it is on the pinky as well, but on the outside, not on the inside on the palm. Beautiful flag on the palm as well. Absolutely beautiful glove. All right, here's the second one she made as well. The one thing that really pops out on this glove is the beautiful logos, as you can see. It's having that fade color that I was talking about earlier. If you can get the, a lot of different colors to fade, I think that would be the next big thing when it comes to customs. And like I said, I think it's coming soon. And as you saw, the autographs on the pinky. So, gosh, these softball gloves are really evolving. I hopefully, hopefully the baseball world can catch up right now. All right, comment what you guys think about this Daisy May. This is a beautiful glove. The white super skin is definitely an interesting look. Got gold on the binding and everything, and the spin control on the back, which is really unique. As you can see, the spin control technology inside the palm as well. Definitely interesting. I've never taken ground balls with these, but I bet it would be very nice. And I'm not really sure the whole difference, but we'll definitely have to make a video about taking ground balls with these sometime. That'd be a lot of fun. And not even to mention these fading logos. Those are so cool. Like I mentioned before, Wilson's doing a huge thing with those, and I think that's really going to catch on. A lot of young baseball players are wanting to express themselves, and that's a great way, too. Here's another glove I've liked for a long time. It's the uh, Wilson Also Glove of the Month. That dual hinge web is just so beautiful. It creates a really deep pocket, and the twist so cool. You can tighten the glove and loosen it from that twister. Very old school look, but... You know, it's very timeless, which I think is really cool. But definitely gonna have to look into this one. All right, like you saw in my collection video, here's the Francisco Lindor Pro Preferred with the platinum labels. Really cool glove. I would pick this up, but like you guys saw, I already have one. So um, definitely jump on this if you guys are in the store. This glove will not last long, especially with those platinum labels. That's really cool. Check out those two JF-16s. So beautiful. Probably some of the most expensive gloves in here. That glove of the month is so beautiful. I wish I jumped on some of those when, you know, they first came out. I mean, obviously the price now is a lot different, but that one on the left is so beautiful. It's almost brand new really really lucky for them to have that one it's so cool Alright guys, after a very long time here, I think I'm probably going to go with this Matt Chapman. I haven't owned one before. I think the Kelly Green and the gold logos are just so cool. Really screams the athletic colors. But yeah, this might be the one. I absolutely love it. Um, definitely going to look forward to breaking this in completely. This is pretty much game ready, but I want it to be the way I break in my gloves. A little more pinky to thumb. So 
definitely enough to work on that. But yeah, if you guys have any questions about the store, make sure to DM them or even comment down below what you guys think about the store and definitely head in. Their hours are online, they're closed on Mondays, but every other day they're open. Definitely come through whenever you want and uh, you guys will have a good time. There's so much stuff here. So, so many endless opportunities for baseball gloves. So comment in, check it out, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. All right, that's gonna wrap up today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. Uh, comment down below what you wanna see from me next. But I wanna give out a big shout out to Charlie Rose. They've given me so many opportunities to go film in their shop. You know, they have one of the best shops in the United States. I think it is the best. So I'll go put their contacts below, like their Instagram, phone number, and address. So you guys can go check out the shop here yourself. But uh, definitely go check them out. Comment down below what you guys wanna see next for me, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.